Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once again to another episode of the Pro Slides Packs tutorials and tricks. And today's trick, uh, some of you have already seen this video where um, the trick to this video is that one, this is a real video. Uh, in the 3D monitor package, it actually displays an image. And there are some folks out there who are converting their MP4s into SWFs. Uh, the one uh, caveat I would uh, mention about that is that if you don't get the right converter, it won't convert to AS3 SWFs or SWIFT files. And if it's not a ActionScript 3 file, then it will not load into Explainio. Okay, so more information about that in the Facebook groups and on the Explainio website. Well, remember yesterday, this was one of those slides I built where right here at this point, you can put a delay in there and it'll stop the slide from moving. So let's see if I can put a delay in here. And now you'll watch where it comes up, boom, it stops for the 38 frames, then it goes away. So what I did was I expanded upon that idea and came up with this one, where this basically does the same thing. And I really didn't leave much time in between uh, the transitions. So what you can do down here is if I add this, this 24 frames a second, let's see if I can add 48. And let's see what we got. See, now it pauses right there. Give you a chance to watch the video, then it turns and leaves. So there was a two second pause right there. Pause, two seconds, and then turn. So you can also ramp this up or you can have it stop for longer than just the two seconds because you might have a longer video running or whatever the case might be. And then it turns and moves away. So that is what is trick in this one. I got one that goes that direction. I got one that comes down like this. See, this one comes down, it gives you a half a second a second and a half and then it moves over so if I add 48 frames which is two seconds then it'll come down and it'll stop and let you view it for a while and then it will move away okay so these these three are going to be in a package but uh, that's not all as they say in the commercials uh, this one doesn't have it, but these two do. Now, you notice that over here, on this one, it has three text fields. Uh, there's one, two, you see there. This third one is hidden. It's not going to work for you because I was experimenting with what I came up with over here. And that is, is that you see this monitor? Okay. Now, if you come down here to text field two, this is really not a text field. This is... Um, this is a control field, the way I'm using it. So right now you're looking at monitor number one, right? So if you put a two in here, and then you click on the top of the slide, look at that. You have a different monitor. And I have five monitors I stuck in here to see if this would actually work, and it, it works pretty good. So okay, so that's monitor number two. So let me come in here and put a three in here. Three, click the top of the slide up here, Bam, see two and three monitors look the same, it's just a little difference with the curvature. Um, here's monitor number four. There you go, monitor number four. I need to tweak the video a little bit because it's hanging down. Uh, but that's monitor number four. So that's what happens when you have different size graphics. And here is monitor number five. Okay, number five seems to fit. So, you got five different monitors in here that you can call up uh, just by changing the number in this field. Now, this is not a text field, so if you put zero in here, it will just take you back to the first monitor. And let me see, I never, I didn't try this with words in here, so let me just put some random characters in here. It should, yep keep you on the first monitor so that's my little bit of error checking then if you put a number bigger than five in here it will just take you to the fifth monitor because there's only five in the package same thing over here where um, you know this one comes down you got the second field over here let me put in three and click up here bam you have a brand new monitor. Let's see, four was a problem on the other one. Is four a problem over here? 
No, four seems to look pretty good over here. So let's see, that's four. Let's try five. Does five work? Five works. Okay, so the one I didn't try was two on this side. Does two work? Two works. So which one was the problem on the other one? Three, I think? Okay, well, they seem to be all working here. So let's see over here. Uh, number two. Was that the problem? Nope. So let's see, is it number three? Because I need to go back and fix that. So it must be four. Yeah, see, four has a little bit of video hanging down there, so I need to tweak that. So let's see, over here, number four. Do I have that problem? No. Okay, so that one works out pretty good. So basically, uh, that's what these slides do. They allow you to change the monitor. Um, this one, I'm going to have to fix. And that is number four. I find it interesting that over here, number four doesn't have that problem. So something I did in the in the code there. But anyway, I will tweak that one and send it out. And then you guys can play with this and let me know what you think.